Amen. If I didn't join me in a word of prayer, most gracious, and I would Amen. say, Father, I come not by merit, not by accolades, not praise, not boast. Father, I come as a servant. Father, I ask you right now in the name of your son, Jesus, to stir up the gift that you've already placed deep in the inner walls of my belly and allow me to be able to regurgitate a raiment word. Father, when you do it, we'll give you glory, we'll give you honor, we'll give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Luke 2. Verse 7. And I'll go ahead and give you a disclaimer before we get started. Y'all going to have to work with me on today. Uh, I've been in the bed the majority of the week. And uh, I, I'm, I'm full. And I'm, 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 I'm built up. I haven't been able to go out and get about. So uh, I, I, I may not know how to act for a while. But I need you to charge it to my head not my heart. Y'all bear with me. I don't have the sense anyway, do I? Amen. Uh, Luke 2 and 7. And it reads, And she bought forth her firstborn, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Let me leave with your simple topic of thought on tonight, on today. It will be, is there room at your house. All right. There is a room at your house. Mm -hmm. uh, look at this. We notice that uh, this is what we call the Christmas season. We're only just a couple of days away from uh, what is known as Christmas. And, and way back in October and some of us as far back as June or even some as far back as January, a lot of us began to make preparation for Christmas. <laughs> there were some things uh, that had to be done. We began to save up our coins and uh, we began to, uh, began to put some things in order so that we might have a good Christmas. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Amen. With me? Uh, there's some preparation. See, a good Christmas isn't a good Christmas without preparation. Uh, a lot of us uh, begin to look at our homes because we know that we're going to have company around Christmas time. So we begin to put some things that were in disorder into perspective. And we begin to clean up and get some clutter out. Uh, we begin to move things off the couches and, so that our company can come in and have somewhere to sit down. Oh, I got somebody with me. Thank you, Mother Mac. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Y'all don't clean up for Christmas. <laughs> There's some things that, there's some color, there's some things that have to be shifted, there's some things that have to be moved, uh, because I've got to do certain things in my kitchen, because I've got to make room for all of the cakes and all of the pies and the glazed ham and all of the toast. Your house. I'm gonna hit just a few key points, and, and we're gonna leave you alone. Uh, the first point.